reconnect thing. Okay. Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, yeah, Facebook has already done a trying to reconnect thing, so it better not start this tonight. Um, and we are having a little bit of bad weather in Knoxville, but hopefully that's not going to affect our chat. Today is Sunday and it's April the 15th. And if you're watching this with us live on Sunday, April the 15th, hello to you. Um, I'm also have my laptop here again as backup just in case. Oh good, notifications are working, so I'm not gonna have to use the laptop. Hey Wendy, hey Sybil. Um, so yeah, I brought it over here just in case. So apparently this is a thing. Hey my Christy. So apparently this is a thing that if I have my laptop sitting over here just off to the side, hey Kim, as backup, then the um the comments are gonna work so that I don't have to use it for backup. Anyway, you all know how things like that work. Hey Nancy, hey Donna, and hey Carla. So today is April the 15th, and hey Joyce. And if you're watching it live on April the, on Sunday, April the 15th, I'm gonna be saying hi, hello to everyone. Hey Sherry, and hey Kim, and hey Casey. Hello, hello Casey. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, hey Lynn, I promise I will post down in the comments, I'll post what time to actually start this. So, um, and hey Stephanie, and Stephanie says this is her meeting and she's had a long week. Hmm, we'll talk about that some in a minute, um, Stephanie. And hey Carol, and hey Kathy. Oh, Kathy says aloha from Oahu. Yeah, so she's having a good time over at Oahu. Hey Kathleen, hey Gladys. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna pause for a second. I'm already getting sidetracked. Gladys made lifetime today. Hey Lisa, hey. And oh yeah, y'all were saying hey to each other. That's good. And hey, Sarah from Dingman's Ferry. So everybody tell Gladys, congratulations. She got to Lifetime today. And hey, Mary. Yeah. Oh, yep. See, Carla already saw the news. Hey, Kathy. Um, yeah. Hey, Janice. So I'm very excited for Gladys. Congratulations. Yeah. And hey, Shirley. Um, hey, Tedders. Yeah, I haven't seen Tedders in a while. How are you doing? And hey, Susan. So if you're watching it live with this, um, congratulations. You made it live. And if you are not watching it live with us, if you're watching this on YouTube, hey Sybil, and if you're watching this, I already said hey Sybil, sorry. If you're um, watching this later on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook and you don't wanna sit through all the high hellos, then um, yeah, I promise I will tell you down in the comments um, when the actual content starts. So it's April 15th. Hey Debbie, it's April the 15th. Does everybody know what that means? What's April the 15th? That happens the same time every year. Yeah, it's tax day. So who else is either in a panic about their taxes, who's been up all day doing their, or up all night doing, you know, finishing up their taxes, um, who's still uh, siphoning and pilfering through or whatever paperwork looking for um, bits and pieces for your taxes. And hey, Melissa, no, I have not found my ricotta cheese yet. Yeah, oh my gosh, Janice made lifetime this week too. My gosh, okay, everybody tell Janice, you know, congratulations. So those of you that are watching this later or you're, you're watching this later on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube, you're not gonna be able to see these comments, but yeah, so congratulate everybody. Yes, and yes, my Christy, it's tax day. And Nancy, yes, it's tax day. So everybody's been freaking out. Um, we just went ahead and just did an extension again. You know, we just gave it up. We just gave up all hope. Um, and Debbie says in Orlando, no fat-free ricotta cheese yet to be found. I, I guess you're saying that about Orlando too. But, but anyway, so and it looks like a couple of y'all got your taxes done early. But so this year, um, we all got a tiny extension. So we got a little tiny extension because we don't have to have them done until the 17th. Because today is Sunday, obviously. Yeah, and it's the 15th, so you can't turn them in today. Tomorrow is some holiday or some, I don't know, weird thing that keeps us from turning them in um, tomorrow. Hey, Renee. So I don't know what tomorrow is, but anyway, so taxes are due on Tuesday. So just in case today had snuck up, had snuck up on you. Yeah. Today's the day you need to be getting your taxes done. So there's your public service announcement from me to you. After we get done, you need to go ahead and get your taxes done. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So it is April the 15th. I know I've already said that like three times. Just wanted to let you know. Hey, Marlene. Oh, and Marlene says it's raining in Florida. Mm, that's so sad. Um, but just so you know, John and I were attending, John, uh, Kelly 102 and John 102, we were attending, and I left my name tag on just in case we get to rejoin them. Hey, Betty. I left my name tag on just in case we could rejoin them. We were having a... Um, we're having a, um, uh, like a traveling dinner in our lofts. And so, hey Cynthia. So we're having a traveling dinner in our lofts. And, um, oh, and Donna, thank you. You looked for me and Maribel for the fat-free ricotta. Thank you. She didn't find any, but thanks for checking. Um, 
And so we're having a traveling dinner in our lofts. And so the first stop we went to, um, we had um, like some kind of mushroom pate. Hey, Teresa, which I loved and John did not like. And it's a vegetarian one this time. So of course, I'm just gonna tell y'all a quick story. So this is a vegetarian one and we're going to different lofts. We're going to four different lofts. And this is our first time attending it. It's the second time they've had it, but it had it, but it's our fourth time attending. And hey, Tina. Um, so it's a, hey Randy, it is a, it's a vegetarian thing this time. Well, if y'all have been around very long, you know that my mom is vegan and she's even holding on to that, or at least holding on to vegetarian, even while she's in the nursing home. Um, she's caved a little bit and has been eating some cheese and things, but, um, so it was a vegetarian menu. So what do you think they picked me to make? So yeah, so I have like all these vegetarian and vegan recipes from my mom. So, you know, I could make literally almost anything they wanted. Yeah, they put me in charge of dessert drinks. And I was like, hey, Melissa. And I was like, first of all, okay, I don't drink. So it's going to be non, yeah, I know Christy says tofu. Yeah, I wish. So first of all, it's going to be non-alcoholic. Hey, Sandy. And the second of all, you know, how creative, you know, can I get with this? So, hey, Betty. So since my, um, yeah, since, so since I was with the, the dessert portion, and I may or may not even make it for that because we, we stopped, we left during the salad portion. Um, so we left before we, hey, Dan. So we left before we got the, our salads. And then the next, the next stop is gonna be the main, um, the main meal. And then the last stop is dessert. So I took all my stuff up to the desserts and then we stopped in, hey, Joan. And then we stopped in for the appetizer portion and then peeked in at the salad portion Anyway, so I made a non-alcoholic sangria. Just gonna go ahead and say, I'm not gonna be drinking of it, any of it, even though it's non-alcoholic, because if you could see what all I put in it, it was absolutely gorgeous, but it's not gonna be point friendly. Anyway, I digress. So, um, hello to everyone. And once I start talking, I won't be able to see, um, I won't be able to see everybody saying hi. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say hi, Susie, because I can see this now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say hi to everyone. Um, and then I'll start talking. And if I don't catch you, I promise I'll say hi later. One little tidbit of information. And Casey, is it okay for me to say? Hey, Nancy. Oh, Nancy says I made it. Oh, she just got lasagna soup on the stove. So Nancy, you're gonna have to tell us how you make the lasagna soup because that sounds, that sounds delicious. Um, so Casey, is it okay if I share the news? If you're sitting there listening to me, is it okay if I share the news today? And no, she's not pregnant again, so calm down. Um, it's just a little bit of news, but it was exciting um, for me and John. So, um, hey, Wendy. So um, anyway, if Casey wants to share it, she can. It has nothing to do with Weight Watchers. Yeah, but um, it was just exciting today. Okay, Casey said sure. So um, her husband is at Bristol this weekend. Um, for those of you who don't live in the South and don't know what Bristol is, it's Bristol, baby. Yeah, this weekend is all Bristol, all, all weekend, baby. Anyway, so her husband, Alan, is gone to, um, hey, uh, Mary. I always want to say Larry. Hey, Mary. So her husband has gone to Bristol. So um, she spent a lot of today with John. He was able to go over to, to spend the day with her and Alyssa. And, um, oh, and Tedders has to go because her company is there to watch the AMC Awards. So bye, Tedders. We'll see you later. Um, but anyway, so uh, after John had left and had come to do the traveling dinner with me, yes, and Mary knows it's NASCAR. So, um, hey, Claudie. So after John had left, I guess they were doing some tummy time and Alyssa rolled over. She rolled over. It was so exciting. Um, I may post it to the private group. I'm not going to post it here on the page, but I may post it in the private group because it's just so cute when she when she rolls over. Kate, you hear Casey go oh, in the background, you know, because she was she was so shocked that she you know that she rolled over. Okay, that had nothing to do with Weight Watchers, but I was just excited, you know, proud grandma moment because she's only three months and let's see, three months and two weeks, I guess. And um, yeah, and it was so cute anyway, and it was adorable. Casey's little gasp at the end is adorable. So I may post it in the closed group. So if you're here and you don't know what our closed group is, um, hey, Shanna, we'll, um, we'll post a link to that later. So the closed group, I do ask you to answer the three questions. So even if you just write, watch the chat, watch the chat, watch the chat, I do need you to, um, hey Phyllis, I do need you to um, to answer the three questions because we have a whole lot of people in there now. There's like 11,000 or something of you. And 
I have some sad news. We lost Jordan on Friday. Um, well, it was it's happy sad news. So she, um, Jordan, was offered her dream job. Um, she has all she has always wanted to manage a wedding venue, and so just through happenstance, she happened to be at a wedding venue, chit chatting with the people. They didn't want to run it. Their parents had left it to them. They didn't want to run it. They want to own it, but they didn't want to run it. She wanted to run one. You know, bada bing, bada boom. Jordan is now going to be managing the, she's now going to be managing the wedding venue. So sad for us because we're losing her as an admin and as a, you know, Casey and I texting her, Jordan, do this, Jordan, add that, Jordan, write this, Jordan, design this, do this, you know, whatever. So, um, hey Stacy. So yeah, so that's sad for us because we're losing Jordan. Of course, Casey and I are still here, you know, and as soon as Alyssa's big enough to do anything, you know, I'm sure we'll enlist her too. But anyway, so I can't have her put the link here, um, so I'll just have to remember to do it after the chat if somebody can remind me to do that. But if you want to be in the, oh, and because I, it's just me and Casey now letting people in. So Jordan was going through and doing, you know, she was letting like a hundred people a day in, you know, like looking through, making sure they answered the questions and letting like a hundred people, hey Dolly, like a hundred people a day in. Casey and I can't do a hundred people a day. So I will ask, and we can't go back and research them, so I need to ask that you all would please, well actually you have to answer the three questions, at least a couple of the questions um, with some legitimate answers. They don't have to be, you know, uh, you know, long and drawn out, whatever, just answer, hey Jenny, just answer the questions or we're not letting you in the group. But anyway, so I will, so I, hey Stacy. so I'll go back, I'll post the, the link to the group later in case you're not already in, but you gotta answer the three questions. Okay. Next thing, if you're watching this later on YouTube, again, I promise I will post down here in the comments, I will post um, where the actual chat starts so that you don't have to listen to all the high hellos. And um, so, but if you are watching this later on YouTube, and even if you're watching it on Facebook, if you watch it later on YouTube, pretty please remember to like and subscribe. And if you comment, I promise I will answer them. I'm a little bit slower answering on YouTube, but I promise I will, I promise I will, you know, like them and sub I will like them. I promise I will answer them. So if y'all could just do that for me, that would be awesome. Okay. So y'all know what's coming next. It's funny because I feel like, I feel like we need some kind of da, 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 some kind of theme music leading up to this part because here's the next part that we get to every week who attended a meeting last week. So show me a thumbs up or comment below, comment below if you attended a meeting last week. So if you attended a physical meeting, like I attend a physical meeting every single Tuesday. Um, and if you, oh, Carol's a little early, not quite homework yet, Carol. But if you attended a meeting last week, a physical meeting somewhere last week, or you attended our meeting last week, let's see some thumbs ups or comment. And there's a lot of thumbs up. So YouTube people or people that are watching this later on Facebook, um, if you all can't see all the thumbs ups, and I really wish you could, but yeah, there's like a ton of thumbs ups going by. So it looks like a whole lot of you all either attended a meeting, oh, and Rose did both. Um, so it looks like, oh, and Kathy did both. So it looks like a lot of y'all, you get extra credit. So it looks like um, several of Sybil's attending her meeting now. So it looks like several of y'all did that. So you know what you get? You get Bravo stickers. So Bravo. Bravo stickers to everybody who attended um, either their physical meeting or here or both. And Dolly says this is her meeting. So, oh, and Sandra did both. So, bravo stickers to everybody who attended. Lynn does, Lynn's doing too. And you get a second bravo sticker for attending with us. Marlene did both. Yeah, congrats to everybody who did both. Gladys did both. And Gladys, that's exactly why you're at Lifetime because you're doing two meetings a week. Mm hmm. Okay, last week's meeting. So, you know, we're always, we're always a little bit week, a week behind and Lacey did both. So last week's meeting, the topic was um, optimistic, but realistic. And Janice did both. So, oh, wait, Kim attended her meeting and she got 20, she got to 25 pounds lost. So do you all get charms at your meeting if you, um, for weight losses? I can't remember what the 25 pound charm is. I think ours was a, was a circle maybe with a 25 on it. Oh, and Sybil's drinking out of the same cup. So, yeah, I don't remember where I got this. I can't remember where I got this, but my cup that Wendy sent, I've used it so many times in a row, I finally had to break down and, and scrub it. So, it's in the dishwasher right now. But our topic for last week was, I'm optimistic but realistic. 
This was your weekly from last week. So remember, if you attend a physical meeting, always grab your weekly. I like to write in mine. You can see last week's is written all the way around, like I've written stuff all the way around it in all of the margins. So last week we talked about being optimistic, but about being realistic. Oh, okay. oh, never mind. No wonder I don't remember where I got that from. Casey got it for me at Home Goods. Thank you, Casey. So, oh wait, and Melissa says, thanks for your meeting last Sunday night. I got to discuss optimistic but realistic in this week's meeting. Yay! Awesome. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, okay. And Carol says, are you wearing a name tag? So Carol, you must have come in after I was talking about the loft uh, traveling party. I'm not taking my name. John took his off. I'm not taking mine off because if we get, you know, when we get done with the chat, I have a feeling that they're still going to be out doing our, we're doing a traveling party in the, in the lofts. And, um, so it started at 530. They had only made it to the second of four stops at 705. So I'm thinking that they're still going to be out when we get done. Yeah. So I'm keeping my name tag on so that I can join, so that we can join the party again. Yeah. And Dusty's back in from a little walk. But anyway, so last week was, um, I'm optimistic, but realistic. And so we talked a lot about that. Do you remember what your homework was? Do you remember what your homework was from last week? While y'all were thinking about your homework and telling me how you did, remember to always grab your weekly. So if you go to a physical meeting, you get, hey, Karen, hey, Popcorn Karen. So if you go to a physical, and okay, Popcorn Karen, explain these, the new Kodiak cakes that you're getting. I've never seen those before. So here in front of God and everybody, you're going to have to explain what those are. Is it a new kind of Kodiak cakes? Because you've been posting like some delicious looking, I mean, your food always looks good, but always looks really good but anyway with your in your giant cups of coffee but um yeah so just explain to us here and of course you two people you won't be able to see it sorry you're just gonna have to join us live um but yeah so you're, you're gonna have to explain um you're gonna have to explain the new flavor okay yeah so explain what or list what it is or something because it was like poppy seed and something but it looked fabulous and yeah karen the, the progressive dinner so they were on we had done the um appetizer portion we had just gotten to the salad portion the main course is coming up whenever they decide to change lofts and then i was part of the dessert portion anyway back to this so um what was your homework what was your homework from last week does everybody remember and remember if you don't pick one of these up always ask for one um at your next meeting if they don't already have them sitting out and um or you can print them from online and you can go back and print out, you know, past ones. Um, so if you, you know, if you need to, but always grab your weekly. So this one I made a lot of notes in. So does anybody, does anybody remember what your homework is? So everybody is commenting about the traveling dinner or the progressive dinner and nobody's telling me what their homework was. So what was your homework? So I know whether or not you did it. Anybody remember? Does a one, a two, and a three, does that sound familiar? Homework? Homework, anybody? Am I talking to you? Can you hear me? Y'all are still talking about waffles. Still talking about waffles, which are also delicious. Oh, and just as a side note, we were talking about, mm -hmm, and Joyce is panicking. I don't remember. Um, just as a side note, just as a side note, um, we have, Nancy says planned meals. It could be planning meals. It could be. I mean, you could make that fit. Yeah, Popsicle didn't do the homework. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Casey said all she remembers. You know what? That's a perfect thing. Who can name for me? Casey says I remember the rescue penguins. Who remembers? Who remembers what we did last week? Does anybody remember what the three, what the three things were? Does anybody remember what came to, um, what came to rescue him? because I'll give you points for it. I'll give you points for it. Hey, Connie, I'll give you points for it if you tell me what the three things were, even if you don't remember your homework. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sounds like you ladies didn't. Oh my goodness, this is the first week. Ah, well, mm, no, Donna says three realistic goals. Nah, that wasn't this week. That wasn't this week. Okay, we've got Melissa says fireman and fire lady. Yeah, very good. There was a fire lady. Larry says, or Mary says Ralph. Yep, yep. His name was Ralph. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all what it was. And Phyllis says pink bass boat. Yep, there was a pink bass boat. Yep. Hey, Lori. Lori's from Louisiana. Okay, 
I'm gonna move on. Oh, wait, Michelle, Michelle, black helicopter with the penguins and a blue fire truck. Mm-hmm. Yep. Joyce says black uh, helicopter and the people. Oh, Casey says Ralph, Alyssaville, blue fire truck with one fire woman, black helicopter with penguins, a pink bass boat with two guys. Very good. Very good. Okay, and so I'm gonna quit reading them. You all are jumping all over in different weeks. Last week, when we talked about being optimistic but realistic, the story that we had was about Ralph who lived in Alyssaville. And remember, he had all these opportunities. He had all these opportunities to be rescued, but he was so optimistic that he wasn't being realistic and he missed all three of them. He missed all of the opportunities to be rescued or to, or to even be prepared for his rescue. So what your homework was for last week is one, two, three. So you were supposed to do one, two, three last week. You were supposed to identify your don't worry, be happy thought. And mine was, I'm a successful lifetime member. Um, I can I can remember, I can remember what I ate. I'm a successful lifetime member. I can remember what I ate and just look it up or keep up with it in my head. Okay, so that was my don't worry, be happy thought. I'm a successful lifetime member. So don't worry, be happy, yeah. And then number two was a reality check. So you need to ask yourself what needs to happen to make this true. So what needs to happen, the reality check is that I'm busy. So, you know, I'm not always gonna remember. So to be realistic, the reality check is that I'm busy. So if I pre-track, then I don't have to remember what it was. I don't have to, and then I can go back and change it if I need to or update it. Or if I need, Christy says we remember the story, but we don't remember the homework. Yay, because y'all are getting another short story tonight. It's not nearly as long as the as the Ralph story. But, um, but anyway, so yes, I am I'm a successful lifetime member, but I'm busy. So if I pre-track, um, I won't have to remember and I can go back and know, I know how many I had and adjust if necessary. Or if plans change, I'll already know what I had instead of trying to go back and go, gosh, what all, you know, did I have and trying to, you know, trying to regroup and, you know, and go on. Um, so that was the reality check. And then number three was plan what you'll do. So my number three was um, I'll, I will track before anything goes into my mouth, starting with breakfast tomorrow. So you just pick a time too. So that was my mini goal was to do that for, was to do that three days. So it was to, you know, have a reality check and do that for three different days. And I did it. Uh oh, and it looks like Stephanie had a sick, very sick child. I'm sorry. But anyway, so I did that for three days. So mini goal crushed. Okay. So that was last week. That was last week's meeting. And I was going to reward you all I was going to reward you all for doing your homework by showing you a new delicious recipe, but since nobody did your homework, nobody, zero, it looks like zero people did their homework, then I'm not going to show you the new recipe. Do y'all, do you think I should show you the new recipe? Who thinks, who thinks they should still see the new recipe, even though you didn't get your homework done? Hmm? And Lynn's doing it right now. Lynn says, I have lost 65 pounds. I need to get focused to lose more, track every meal for three days. That's a good one. So you think you should be shown? Hmm? Okay. Okay. I guess I'll show it to you. Okay. This is not, <laughs> y'all are going me, me, me. Okay. Yeah. And Donna says we get detention for sure. Okay. So I won't be mean. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Yeah, and Tracy or Tanya says we'll do better this week. Okay, if you'll do better, then I will show it to you. Okay, so this is not, this is a new to me recipe, and I cannot remember who shared it in our If You Have an Egg group, but I think where they shared it from was, um, and I should, I'm sorry, I apologize. I should have written that down. So whoever you were, thank you for sharing that with us. Um, yeah, and some, some of you all are volunteering, Dolly's volunteering to stand in the corner. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and Jenny, no, Jenny, does, this does not count. This is your first, oh, it's Jenny's first time here. And it's Jenny, G-I-N-N-Y. So everybody say hello to Jenny. Say hello to Jenny. It's her first time here. So I'm going to show you the recipe. I'm going to show you the recipe because it's Jenny's first time. So we're going to do this for her. Um, but whoever it was that shared this, I apologize. I did not write down who it was, but I think it was from... Um, maybe delish or one of those were that one of the ones where they show you the videos of you know of how like it's they're looking down and they show you the videos of everything that they're making and it was a fabulous idea but what they had used the ingredients that they had used we're gonna kind of push it you know out, outside of my comfort zone as far as smart points go so 
I lightened it up a little bit. It was the same concept. Um, so if you're the person who shared this recipe, don't cheat and tell everybody, but for everyone who didn't share the recipe with me or with the group, what do you think this is? Any clues, any ideas, any idea what this is, what these are? So it makes, the recipe makes eight of them, it makes eight servings, and there are approximately three of them in a serving, and each serving is two points. So theoretically, if you did it exactly right, you would be making 24 of these, which would be eight servings of three each, and they're two smart points each. So any guesses? Any guesses on what it is? Uh-oh, and Tanya, uh-oh, I missed something. Hold on, what's Tanya saying? I'm gonna try and do this without do this without messing you all up. Let me scroll back. Oh, it's Tanya's first time too. So hi, Tanya. Yes, okay, so yeah, y'all must have been paying attention in the group. Yes, this is cauliflower. Or when I flipped it over, did it, did it give it away? So yes, this is cauliflower. It's smashed, um, loaded cauliflower. And I have not tried to make this in the, and it's not a cookie. I know it looks kind of like a cookie, doesn't it? Um, I have not tried to make this in the air fryer. I stuck with the, I stuck with the recipe. Um, hey Loretta, I stuck with the recipe um, pretty, pretty close. I mean, to do the, um, the recipe that was on, I don't, I don't remember it was delish or something like that. But, um, so I tried to, you know, I, I baked it, I baked them. So that, um, you know, so anyway, so that I could stick with that. But I haven't tried them in the air fryer yet. I will. Um, I've made two batches of this already. Yeah, and we've already eaten probably a fourth of the first batch. So they're that good. And I'm taking them to work tomorrow. Um, Debbie says, and some gravy over it. Hmm. And um, so I'm taking, I don't know what that was about. So I'm taking the, I'm taking some of these to work tomorrow so that Casey can try them. And I'll let a couple of the civilians try them and um, to see what they think. But, um, and I've already done the video and yes, Kim, it's loaded cauliflower. I've already done the video, my version of the video to show you how to make them. But the quick rundown, let's see. Okay. We have time for a quick rundown. The quick rundown is it was a head of cauliflower and hopefully you are better at making a, um, hopefully you're better. Oh, it was on tasty. Okay. Thank you, Carol. So this originally was on tasty. So if you want to go back to tasty.com and look at some of their recipes and the videos, this one was originally there. I just lightened it up a little bit and, um, ooh, and Dolly says that men's chicken was awesome. Yay. Good, good, good. That one's literally my favorite. It's literally my favorite, but, um, Anyway, so I lighten this up a little bit and you just chop up a, um, a head of cauliflower or you can buy the florets already done. Hopefully you're a better florette maker than I am. Yeah, and Debbie, I'll tell you in a second, it's, there's nothing drizzled on them. It's just the way that they baked and I'll tell you in a second what it is. But um, hopefully you're a better florette maker than I am because mine are kind of, yeah, kind of sketchy. So this one looks less like drizzle, so I'll hold that one up. But it is... Um, so it's, you know, head of cauliflower chopped up. The head of cauliflower makes two batches. And then, and I'll, and I'll post the recipe, and I, and I have already done the video for it, but it has, um, let's see, it has olive oil, nonstick spray, and it has um, Bragg nutritional yeast, because you all know I have to put nutritional yeast on everything. And not that I would have put fat-free ricotta on there, but I couldn't since no one around here sells it right now. Um, but anyway, so it had, it's cauliflower, and you boil it. Um, just until it's um, not firm anymore, till it's not you know crispy anymore, and then you smash it with a potato smasher. Oh, and I was gonna keep it out so I could show you what it looks like, but you'll be able to see it in the video. But anyway, then you smash it with a potato masher, and then you um, lightly spray it with um, you light. Joyce says nutritional yeast, yummy. You lightly spray it with um, nonstick spray. I, I used olive oil nonstick spray. Then I sprinkled on some nutritional yeast. You don't have to use it because um, I know there's a couple of people um, that can't. Uh, Popcorn Karen can't. She has a sensitivity to niacin, and some people just don't like the way it smells. I love it. But anyway, so you sprinkle that on there. And then it has, um, oh, thanks. Oh, Nancy, Nancy, did you just post the recipe again? The, the original, yay. Um, and then you sprinkle on some, um, I used Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella cheese. And that's what the brown is, Debbie. It's, um, it's where the cheese melted. And then um, Costco, the Kirkland crumbled um, bacon bits. And then you can use a, whatever seasoning you want to, but um, really garlic would probably be, oh, thank, yes, thank you, Nancy. Probably garlic would be, um, would be the best. 
or not the best, but probably garlic, you know, some kind of garlic salt or something like that. But um, the Dax that has, that's salt free, because y'all know I've been trying not to season with salt. So the Dax that is, excuse me, I'm going to sidetrack for a second. Tanya wants to know what section of the store the nutritional yeast is located in. So Tanya, I get it at um, Kroger or I have found it here in um, East Tennessee. I found it at Food City, Trader Joe's. Joan is right. Trader Joe's has nutritional yeast. Theirs is in a bag. Um, I don't want to get distracted and start pulling them out, but I, I do have them that I can show you all. But anyway, um, yeah, Sybil says, try near the organic food. Yeah, so the hippie granola section is a good place to check. Um, Whole Foods has it. Um, you don't necessarily have to go anywhere special, but I do try to get either the Bragg's or the Trader Joe's. Um, I think the Bob's Red Mill isn't too bad, but one of them, like Red Star or something like that, has more points for some reason. I do not know why. It should be exactly the same. Betty says, Amazon? Yep, yes, you can get it at Amazon. Oh, and Michelle says she saw some in the other day. Um, but anyway, so I use, since I've been trying to do salt-free seasonings, I use the Dax, um, everything but the salt. Um, yeah. And uh, Stacey says, where can I find the Dax? You have to order it online. Oh, Debbie said Dax Steakhouse would be good too. Yeah. Oh, that would be good. It would be good because it would be like a potato. Um, but yeah, so this one's really good. It does have garlic in it. It's got, um, and you just go to, I think it's DaxSpices.com. I'm terrible. If you go over to the, if you are in the, if you have an egg group though, we have a, um, we've got a coupon code right now. So, and you can find that over on the, you can find that over on the, if you have an egg group too. So you can use the coupon code. And I think today, I think we've already missed the, um, they were having a sale on the Italian, I think it was on the Italian blast today. I think we've already missed that sale, but she runs um, promotions all the time. And Randy, yes, all of the DAX is salt free. No, no, no. Randy, all of it is. I don't know what I said to make you think that it wasn't, but you all know I've been trying to eat salt-free, so I did not use garlic salt. I used the Dax instead. In case I wasn't clear on that, yes, all of the Dax is salt-free. All of it is. So, but this one has, and I won't be able to read it from over here, but it has garlic, it has garlic, let me see. Um, minced onions, minced garlic, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, and a couple of other things, but no, no salt. Yeah, Randy says great. Yeah, no salt. But anyway, this one was really good because it gave it just a little bit of a garlicky, just a little bit of a garlicky fla flavor, but it did not have, um, but no salt. Yeah, so instead of garlic salt. But anyway, so yeah, absolutely yummy. I did already do the video. Now you've just got to wait on me to post the recipe. And I know I'm about eight recipes behind, but since I've already done the video, this one will probably be done first. And Lynn says she, already, she used her coupon code the other day for the Italian. Yay, good job. I did make half of these with, I will just comment here. I made um, half of these with um, Trader Joe's, the shredded light mozzarella, and I made the other half with the Trader Joe's shredded light, the blend, kind of the Mexican blend, and um, yeah, both of them were great. Both of them were great. So each half, half of the cauliflower head, half of the half of the head of cauliflower, so that's approximately two cups of cauliflower, makes about eight servings of three each, and it's two smart points for each for each one. Yeah. So even if you accidentally ate the whole thing, that would still only be like 16 points. And the whole thing was an entire sheet, it was an entire cookie sheet um, of smashed cauliflower. If you ate that much in smashed potatoes, whoa, that'd be crazy. And um, it would be good, you could add a little bit of sour cream to the top of them too. Wouldn't that be yummy? Or some chives or something. Yeah, that would be yummy too. Okay, so I have another quick story for today. Today's story, yes, Stacy, it is cauliflower. Um, Oh, and for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, when I post that recipe, it'll be on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. Since you all won't get 16 obnoxious posts from me on, on Facebook to tell you, um, yeah, to tell you what the recipe is. So YouTube people, it's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. And yes, Sybil says, or uh, some plain fat-free Greek yogurt. Christy says Greek yogurt. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Tastes just like sour cream. Okay, so the quick story, I call it the tale of two grandmas. So we have grandma, we have a grandma named Gladys and a grandma named Trula. And both are about the same age. They're within a couple of years of being the same age. And um, grandma Gladys is um, about four foot nine and she weighs about 130 pounds. 
and she's kind of a city girl um, you know she lives closer to downtown and she does fun things like you know glamping and um, likes to ride on you know take little boat rides and likes to walk in the city and do fun things like that and so grandma Gladys a little short one um, she eats all kinds of fruits and vegetables and healthy lean meats um, and things like that um, but she's just a tiny bit, you know, just a little bit chunky. Then we have Grandma, and Michelle says someone shorter than me. Okay, this person does exist, by the way, or did exist. But anyway, and then we have Grandma Trula, and Grandma Trula is five foot seven and only weighs probably, I'm going to say, like 110. You know, so you've got, you know, Mutt and Jeff, you know, as far as their height and their weight. So Grandma Trula is five foot seven and weighs about 110, and she eats, um, she's a country girl. So she lives on a farm, um, animals are for farm work, they're not for snuggling, um, and she keeps a can of lard on her stove. So everything, if y'all don't know what lard is, don't look it up. Um, but she keeps a can of lard, a coffee can of lard on her stove and everything gets a scoop of lard. Even if it already has fat in it, it gets a scoop of lard. Um, she's a hard worker and um, she works on the farm and um, she's digging in a garden and um, she's feeding cattle. She's, you know, she's handling hay. Um, and so she, um, oh, Sandra's four foot nine. She weighs 122 pounds and she's a grandma of three. This story isn't not about you, but that's awesome. It could be you. It could be you really, Sandra. Um, but anyway, so, um, both, grandmas, both grandmas, um, lived to be, and so we'll go, ew, Lord, yeah. So both grandmas live way, way outlive their husbands. Um, both grandmas have good, healthy lives until they're about 90 before they have any health problems. So, you know, they must be doing everything right. So little grandma, little grandma Gladys, um, is her main source of activity is um, long, yeah, and Casey goes, gee, I wonder who they are. Yeah, hush, Casey. So Grandma Gladys, her sources of activity are long walks down the waterfront, um, walking the zoo, um, picking up seashells, um, uh, finding rocks, um, you know, finding rocks along the riverfront, um, walking around downtown, um, you know, and doing things like that. Grandma Trula, her, her main source of exercise is feeding cows, you know, hauling hay, pulling hay out of the, you know, pulling hay out of the barn and taking it over to the um, cows. Hey, Charlotte. And um, working in a garden, you know, she's hoeing all day, you know, and fixing things and going back and forth to the barn, back and forth to the barn, back and forth to the barn, you know, and hoeing all day. So both grandparents, both grandmas, little short Grandma Gladys and tall Grandma Trula, um, are both getting a lot of they're both getting a lot of exercise every day, but they're getting it two completely different ways, completely different ways. Um, both of them have completely different eating habits. Grandma Gladys will make bagel bites for breakfast, and then she'll eat fruits and veggies the whole rest of the day. Then I know, and she said, oh, Gladys says, "How did they find my life story?" Yeah, and then but Grandma Trula made um, added um, lard to everything. But she had, um, oh yeah, and Michelle says, I bet she didn't have bat wing arms. Mm -mm. But Grandma Trula, well, oh hey, Sharon, she made it. Yeah, she's, you're just a little bit late, Sharon, and I'm telling another story, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it quicker than last week's story. But anyway, so she, um, so she, yes, she's adding, she's adding lard to everything, but she's all, everything that she's eating, all of her fruit, all of her vegetables are fresh from the garden. Um, all of the meat is fresh, you know, everything's fresh. So the, so Grandma Gladys is doing it completely different than Grandma um, Trula. Neither one of them is doing it wrong. They're both leading healthy lives. They're both getting lots of exercise, but where is it different? Grandma Trula is getting, she's all gung-ho, 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 you know, go, 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 and it's hard, and it's hard, and it's hard, and it's hard exercise, and at the end of the day, Grandma Trula pretty much just sits down and goes to sleep because she is slap worn out, slap worn out because she's going, you know, 25 miles, you know, a minute. Grandma Trula, or Grandma Gladys, however, the little short grandma, she's, you know, she's taking these long walks, but then she's doing crafts, you know, the little rocks, remember the rocks that she gathered as she was walking down the riverfront? Then, you know, she's uh, helping the grandkids paint them, or they're making terrariums, or they're making bonsai trees, and this is a true story. But so she's doing little bits of things all throughout the day. 
both great grandmas, great grandmas and great great grandmas, um, both great grandmas, both lived long, healthy lives, but one of them worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and worked and, worked and, worked and made everybody around her work and work and work and work and work, hard, hard, hard all day long, and it was what she loved to do. But there's nothing wrong with the way that Grandma Gladys was doing it. Little bits here, little bits there, little bits here, little bits, little bits, little bits, little bits, little bits. So, Grandma Gladys had plenty of time to spend with grandkids, and she had plenty of time to spend with other people and nurturing other people. And even John said Grandma Trula was going to work him all the way to the to the grave, and she literally did. That's another story. But there's nothing wrong with the way either one of them did it, except Grandma Gladys made, she managed to get in as much activity and as much exercise as Grandma Trula, but she got it in little bots, little bitty bots all throughout the day. So that's what we're talking about this week. We wanna be Grandma Gladys. There's nothing wrong with Grandma Trula, but eventually we'll keel over. Um, Grandma Trula, not many people can keep up with that level of, activity and I know it was work but I'm gonna call it activity because let's face it girls and guys if we have any guys here tonight back then nobody these were my grandmothers by the way um but back then nobody went to the gym um, they didn't go work out they didn't um, they didn't have Zumba and they didn't have Planet Fitness and they didn't have all these other things nobody really thought about it because they were so much more active than we all are now and um, you know because and they weren't sitting at desks you know for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours every day um, you know they weren't having to try and find ways to fit in activity um, and you know and cram that in so Grandma Trula while she was still very healthy. She was doing great. She was very healthy for somebody who ate lard every single day. I mean, she would take a steak, put it in a skillet to fry it, and add lard to it. Yeah, add it to it. But she worked, 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 worked. She was so physical all day long that she was working her heart. She was working her muscles, her little tiny skinny muscles, you know. But not many people can keep up with that level of activity. I'm telling you, she wore us out wore us out not many people can keep up with that that level of activity is like and please don't anybody be offended but I'm just gonna call this beach body coach level activity so I don't know about you but I don't have time I don't have the time in the day um, I don't have the emotional and the physical energy to do again I'm not trying to offend anybody if you do beach body if you and if you're a beach body coach awesome more power to you I don't have time I don't have time or the emotional or physical energy to be that um, committed, you know, to something or to, to, to put that much time into it. Um, so that's Grandma Trula. She's full blown all the time. That's all. That's all she did. So of course she could eat like she did and be just as healthy because she, her physical activity level. I mean, seriously, she was probably doing some strenuous physical activity. I'm six hours a day, probably, probably six to six and a half hours a day. Okay, so I want us to focus on Grandma um, Gladys. So Grandma Gladys, of course she was a lot more fun, but she had it going on. Little bots throughout the day, little bots. Take the grandkids for a walk, pick up some rocks, sit down and make a, sit down and make a craft. Um, then, you know, get up and do something else. That's what we're talking about this week is finding small ways to move more. So um, this is our weekly for this week. Again, okay, and Sybil says, I was a beach body coach, but I could not keep up with the exercising every day and the limitations of eating. Yeah, that is kudos to people who were successful doing that. That's hard. That is hard to have that kind of commitment every single day, and that's what she did. But there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong, nothing wrong with finding small ways, finding smaller bots throughout your day, not bites of food, but finding smaller bites throughout your day um, where you can get the same kind of physical activity. So our, our topic for this week, find small ways to move more. Remember to get your weekly. Um, so I'm going to read this in a second, but who saw, so who saw my little video that I was talking, the little video where I was going, yeah, and Casey said they were the definition of type A and type B personalities. Oh my gosh, such such the definition. Um, but who saw my little video where my feet were going and it was they were going so fast. Yeah, so yeah, so that little video that was done in yeah, I wasn't really walking that fast. Okay. 
we're talking we're going to talk about that in a second because remember I told you all that that was like a, a preview of today. Okay, so yeah, and a lot of you all saw it. So YouTube people, there's a lot of thumbs ups going by and a lot of ideas going by. So please still comment. So before I tell you what I before I tell you what I did to sneak in to sneak in some things that day and 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 what it you know what it tallied up to, I have a question for you. If if I ask you what exercise, I need you to pick one exercise that you would really be willing to do non-stop for 60 minutes. So how many of you, how many of you can come up with an exercise that you would be willing to do non-stop for 60 minutes? 60 minutes, not 59 and a half, not, not 50, not 58. Oh yeah, and Jackie liked the high five too. How many, so how many of you can, and can somebody help Janice find the past weeklies? So how many of you can come up with an exercise that you can do 60 minutes, not stop? Popsicle says walk, Christy says walk, Joan says walk. 60 minutes, non-stop. Hey Liliana. Joyce says jazzercise, she loves it. Yeah, Jenny says walk. Okay, so if you're watching this later on, Sherilyn says um, says walk. So if you're watching this, oh, Michelle says gazelle, woo. Michelle's, she's hardcore, yeah. Sybil says walk or bike ride. Joan says Zumba, yeah, see. <clears throat> 60 minutes walk all day long I could do that Betty says walk okay what if I asked you ooh, Mary says mowing what if I asked you what is something that you could do and yeah of course Debbie you can walk because Debbie walks forever Carol swimming I'd be right there with you in steps so what if I said oh and YouTube people you can still you can comment because because I'll see them so comment below um what if I asked who, who can do something for 30 straight minutes? So what exercise would you be willing to do for, for 30 straight minutes instead of 60? 30 straight minutes. Liliana says elliptical. I can do the elliptical for 30 minutes now. I could only do it for four, you know, just, I could only do it for four the first time. Well, I made myself do eight, but I'm up to, I'm up to 30 minutes now. Jogging, 30 minutes. Biking, y'all may be talking about other things, you know, not the 30 minutes, but walking, 30 minutes, that's not, you know, that's not too bad. Swimming, 30 minutes, that would be awesome. Yeah, so there's some, Michelle says weights. Yeah, you can do, any, oh, circuit training. Casey and I do circuit training for 30 minutes. So we can do, we do 30 minutes on the elliptical one day and some other things, and then we do 30 minutes um, of um, strength training on another, or circuit training, strength training on another day. Okay, so... While y'all are still posting, how many things could you do if I said you had to exercise for five minutes? All you had to do was exercise for five minutes. Are there some of you who are there some of you who would say who would say, "Gosh, I really can't do anything." Sixty minutes—that's a long time. 60, 60 minutes is a long time. Thirty minutes can still you know take up a chunk of time. But how many of you? How many of you? If you can't fit in thirty or can't fit in sixty might be able to fit in 30. How many of you could fit in five minutes of exercise? Five minutes. So if you can fit in five minutes of exercise, give me a thumbs up. Oh yeah, Casey says the stairs, yeah. So the, that stair thing, Casey and I can only do it for five minutes. So five minutes. If you can do something for five minutes, yep, Joyce says jog in place, give me a thumbs up. Stepper, Jenny says a stepper. Randy says anything. Yeah, anything. Seriously, Melissa says walk stairs. Okay, you guys have got this. So, Sybil, sit ups or lift barbells. Yeah, y'all keep yoga, Christy says yoga poses. Perfect, perfect. Carla can walk for five minutes due to bad legs and back. That's perfect. Lynn says walk in place during commercials. Janet said, oh gosh, Janet played pick, pickleball. I wanna do that sometime. Janet, if I come see you ever, wherever you live, I wanna play pickleball. Yeah, Stacy says chair exercises. Okay. I'm gonna have to quit reading them, but I promise I'll read them all later because I gotta read this real quick. Okay, so what we talked about this week, adding, find small ways to move more. Small ways to move more. Um, and Tanya says the problem with that is she can't take 10 showers a day because she'd be sweating. No, you don't necessarily have to get up to sweating, you know, to sweating, you know, capability. Okay, but you gotta sneak them in. So my that I was telling y'all, that you all saw. Some of y'all saw the video. Oh, by the way, the recipe in this week's weekly sidetrack, yeah, looks fabulous, fabulous. Oh, Jackie says, we, you should walk in place while you're washing me. You really should, you really should do that. And I should be doing this the whole time. Yeah, I should be doing toe lifts the whole time. The, okay, the recipe this week, we're gonna sidetrack Greek zoodles with sour cream and onion chickpeas. Looks fabulous. Okay, so what I did in the video 
hey LV, what I was doing in the video when I was doing this. Okay, so here's what I did. Friday this week, so normally my early day is Tuesday. We have a meeting, we have a meeting at work on Tuesdays and we get there at 7.30. So I exercise Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what would you call that? I exercise Wednesday through Monday, I guess, however you would say that. So Tuesday is my rest day. So I don't do any, I don't do any on purpose exercise on Tuesday. But I had a second day this week when that was gonna be a problem. My shop manager um, was taking off Friday because it was his birthday, and so he needed me to open up. Ugh. Well, he knows that's my least favorite thing to do. Least favorite thing to do. Um, if he would just take all afternoons off, that would be fine because I don't mind staying late, but I absolutely cannot stand opening up at 7 o'clock because here's what happens. I get up early. I miss my exercise time. I get there at about 10 till 7, and then nobody else shows up. And even though I get there, if I get there at 7, then they don't show up until 7.15, 7.20. If I get there at 7.15 or 7.20, then they've all been standing outside waiting on me since five till seven. So I get there at seven. So Friday was that day and I thought, hmm, okay, this is a perfect day to experiment and see what I can get in because I also, so I go, um, um, I go to Planet Fitness with Casey on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I walk with my friend Karen on Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays and I'll walk with John a couple of mornings a week or we do um, now we do Pio on the mornings that if we can't walk or if it's raining outside then we do Pio so almost every day I'm doing some form of exercise major exercise not quite granny green exercise but I'm doing um, that was a Trula I'm doing not quite um, Trula level exercising um, all but two days a week so the two days a week that I don't do that are on Tuesdays and Fridays. So this was perfect for Friday because I don't do any other major exercise on Friday. Um, so got up, you know, got ready, and went to work. But here's what I did just to test this to see. Okay, um, and Randy says she still hasn't tried the Pio. Yeah, we're going to have to get some kind of mats. Um, I can't. Um, so I'm going to sidetrack again. I'm allergic to rubber, not latex. I'm allergic to rubber. And John's been trying to find mats for us that are, will actually cushion, but that, um, don't, but, but that aren't rubber, made out of rubber. Um, cause it's kind of killing our knees. Just going to say. But anyway, so y'all chat about Randy, please explain to Dolly what Pio is so I can keep moving. So Friday, since I wasn't going to have any other major exercise on Friday that was going to mess this test up, I used that as my test day. I used it as my test day. And so the first thing I did, because um, remember, I normally would have walked on Friday. But so since it was my test day, I did... Um, so the first thing I did is I marched in place while the coffee was brewing. So while my coffee, while my coffee was going, I marched in place. Okay. So that took a couple of minutes. Then while I was brushing my teeth, I did heel lifts. So brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, brushing my teeth, and I did heel lifts. Then while every red light, so we only we don't live that far from work, but at every single red light, I did, for lack of a better term, don't know what else to call these, cheek clenches. And I'm not going to turn around and show you what I did, but like each tushy cheek, while I was at the red light, I'd clench one, then clench the other one, clench one, clench one, clench one, clench one. And I did that at every single red light, not while I was driving because you kind of need control of your foot. Um, then at work, normally I'll, when I start doing my reports and things, like I'll run a couple and then somebody will bring them to me. And then I'll run a couple more and then I'll either get up every like fifth or sixth one or like I'll print off, you know, several before I go and get them. This time, so on Friday instead, I print one, get up, go get it, come back. Print one, get up, go get it, come back. Print one, get up, go get it, and come back. So I did that all day. I didn't let anybody bring them to me. I collected each one. Then I spent part of my day standing and doing paperwork. So instead of sitting at my desk, typing, 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 and sorting paperwork out, I put it across a bar top that we have, kind of a little check-in area that we have there um, at the granite shop, and stood, stood there. So I was already standing up, you know, which is some physical activity, did some more heel lifts, you know, did some other things while I'm standing and doing, you know, working on my paperwork. Then every time that Dusty asked out, um, um, went with him, um, so went to the mailbox and back, 
Um, I walked the warehouse and back. Um, we I walked. Um, we had Alyssa on Friday, which is unusual. So walked with you know walked with her and you know and carried her around. The only problem with carrying Alyssa around is if you're if I carry her with my left hand, so my Fitbit's not going. Um, and Carol says they have stand desks at work. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so I walked the warehouse. Every time I needed to go put a sticker on something, to go put a sticker on a slab, I'd go, you know, I'd go stick it on there. And um, instead of telling Casey, hey, will you go sticker this for me? And will you go turn this paperwork, whatever. So I walked all my own paperwork, did all my own paperwork. And every time I waited on a customer, whenever they needed, when we were talking about the edge choices, I'd walk them all the way around all the way around all the way around it's 80 steps all the way around the displays that we have there in the middle of the showroom then where y'all saw me doing this I needed to go to um, the grocery store and so um, so John went and got dusty or came and got dusty and then I went we have um, down at UT we've got a big parking garage and then we've got Walmart over here and or I guess it's backwards Walmart over here and Publix over here so I parked all the way out as far as I could in between the two stores and that was what all the walking was. So I walk, 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 and then I walked up the stairs. So you can take an elevator or there's an escalator, but I took the stairs, all the way up the stairs, all the way through Walmart. And y'all know how much I hate Walmart, so that was a quick trip. All the way through Walmart, checked out, walked down, went all the way to the car, put that stuff in, Took that buggy all the way back. Walk, 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 walk. Oh my gosh! And Sandra says she babysits her three grandkids, so she gets in ten thousand steps. So walk, 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 walk. Walked back up the stairs, back up the stairs to Publix. Walk, 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 walk. Did my shopping. Walked all the way back down to the car. Put my groceries in. Walked the buggy back over to the little cart thing. You know, we return the carts. Did all that. Then when I got home, we walked them in from the garage. Put all the groceries on a cart. Walked them in. Then um, I took Dusty for a walk, and then I marched in place during commercials, and I hit a little over 8,000 steps. A little over 8,000 steps. I never walked. I never walked. So normally, you know, I'll walk in the morning and then do some other form of exercise, and I have to intentionally, you know, try to get my 10,000 steps but all I did were the things that I just listed so I just did all those little things and not a one of them except well I mean shopping took more than five minutes but it didn't take me five minutes to walk to and from the car it didn't take me five minutes to walk dusty um, freeze potty break it didn't take me five minutes to brush my teeth it didn't take me five minutes to brew coffee it didn't take me five minutes you know to each time to go to the copier but all of that added together all of that added together and it was purposeful I mean I thought about it but all of that added together I was over 8,000 I was over 8,000 steps so yeah and Melissa said what happened to Weight Watchers fit breaks I don't, hmm, I don't remember now my fitness tracker um, does tell me every hour you know to get up and do 250 steps um, I have not been great at that but I'm, you know, anyway, I'm going to be looking into that. I will say this, you need to um, make sure and wear your fitness tracker because if you accidentally leave it at home plugged in, it doesn't count. I'm just kidding. It does count, but it doesn't feel like it. Okay, so who can, who can find something to do for, hey, Lisa. Lisa says, I watch you on, to watch us on YouTube because she's late. Hey. Um, so who can take five minutes who can take five minutes tomorrow and either walk in place where your coffee's brewing heel lifts while you're brushing your teeth park farther away go back and forth to the copier who can do that who can take five hey marlene who can take five minutes tomorrow and do something like that find one other little way to fit something in lacy can looks like okay Jenny can. Yep, getting lots of thumbs up. So YouTube people were getting lots of thumbs up. And sorry I didn't get to read this to you, but my story about the tail of two grandmas took too long. Okay, so a lot of y'all are saying you can. Here's your homework for next week. Ooh, wait, Sybil says she can send her copiers to the copies to the printer farther away from her classroom. That's a great plan. That's a great idea. Okay, so here's your homework, Melissa. Not quite. Melissa says, is that our homework? Not quite. Okay, if you can do it tomorrow, here's your homework. First, your homework is to remember to do your homework. So can y'all remember to do your homework this week? Okay, if you can do something for five minutes tomorrow, 
Your homework is to do it three times, three different days. So five minutes, find something to do for five minutes extra above and beyond what you've been doing three days this week. So next week, I want you to come back in and say, okay, I did it. You know, on three different days, I found something I could do that took up an extra five minutes. Sandra, jumping rope during a commercial. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you can, can you print your schoolwork farther away at the copier? I'm not asking you to do an hour. I'm not even asking you to do 30 minutes. I'm asking you to do five minutes of something extra. So, you know, y'all could be doing it right now. I know we don't have five minutes left, but see, you could be doing, you could be doing heel lifts. You could be doing squats. You could be doing, you know, walking in place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Donna says, write down homework. Let's not forget two weeks in a row. Yes, the flogging will start next week if you don't do your homework. Mm -hmm, it really will. Um, yeah, that's all you got to do. You got to find something. Yeah, sit, Sybil says sit up, sit ups or dumbbells during commercials. Yeah. Does anybody know? Just as the just as a side note, does anybody know how many minutes of commercials there are during a um, during a one hour show? Yeah, like twenty minutes. There's 20 minutes. So if you think about it, if you break that up into quarters, so if you watch the first half of a show, or like the first half, if you watch the first quarter of a show and then do something for five minutes and then do the next quarter of the show, five minutes, next quarter of the show, five minutes, next quarter of the show, five minutes, there's your 20 minutes. You'd already be up to 20 minutes. I'm only asking you to do five minutes once a day for three days next week. Yeah. Oh, and Michelle says it's 22 minutes. Dang, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a whole lot. Okay, so who's got their homework down? And I don't know where Dusty is. Dusty! Is Dusty with you? Hmm, okay. Dusty maybe must be trapped with John, I guess because he was making too much noise. Yeah, and um, so I think he has been, I think he's been quarantined to the bedroom because he is not out here anywhere. Oh well, y'all just have to see Dusty next week. Okay, so who's gonna remember to do their homework? Yeah, if you walked, what, if you, oh, so if you walked every commercial, that would be a mile. Awesome, okay, so it looks like a lot of you all have got your homework down, um, and yes, Dolly, I will give Dusty a, um, a hug for you. Oh, Phyllis said he's eating my dinner. I hope not, because hopefully, I'm going to go try and catch up with them and see what's left on this vegetarian dinner and see if I can make it back with them. So yeah, it's nine, so it's 9.02 and I'm headed back out um, and I'm headed back out to try and find these people for the rest of our food. But anyway, okay, so everybody have an awesome week and thank you so much for being here and thank you Facebook for not puking on us this time. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, and Susie's gonna have to do upper body stuff since she's in her cast. Do it, Susie, do it. You can get your arms in. So by the time you get your cast off, you can have little, you know, you can have little, uh, oh, guns. You can have some little guns going. But anyway, okay, thanks everybody for being here. Um, as always, we'll see you next week. Um, thank you again, and I guess we'll see Dusty next week. It feels weird not ending with him, but good night. Have an awesome week. Do your homework. Don't forget. Good night.